everybody, it's Alma with the Cat's Pajamas, and today I'm going to show you how easy it is to make this card in a box using cuttables. First, download your card in the box cuttable files, and then import them into your cutting machine. Cut out the main card shape with its cut lines and perforations, as well as the two supporting pieces. The supporting pieces also have perforations. This will make it easier to fold. If you want to decorate your card with mats, there are cutting files for those too. For this card in a box, we're going to be using our Bubbles Happen stamp set. We're going to be using the saying, Don't Forget to Play, as well as the Penguin and the Bubbles. You can make this card in a box even if you don't have a cutting machine. We've included PDF files in your download, so just print the PDF files on the back of your designer paper, score where the perforations are marked, and you're ready to go. If you're using double-sided paper like I am, choose which side of the paper will be the inside. Then place adhesive on the small side tab. Bring the short side over and fold in half. Fold over the small side tab and crease. Then open the box and fold in half along the other vertical perforations. And there you have your box. Pretty easy. You'll notice that three of the sides have horizontal perforations. Pull the flaps out and fold along those perforations. Leave the back unfolded. Now I think I'm going to do a little decorating. These are the mats that I cut out using the cuttable file. And I'll attach them to the flaps that I pulled back. And I think I'll leave the sides as is. The cuttable files are great because I don't have to do any measuring. and one last one for the back. Okay, let's work on the inside. Now take one of the supporting pieces and fold along the perforations. In the instructions that came along with the download, I think I say to do a valley fold and then a mountain fold, but it doesn't really matter. After you place adhesive on the small tabs of the support, insert it into the box. Make sure the ends of the support touch the front of the box. Do the same with the second support, only this time make sure the ends of the support touch the back of the box. These supports will be the place we can attach our decorations to. Fold the box flat and give it a good press. This makes sure that everything is adhered properly. Fold the box open and give everything one last press, making sure everything is nicely creased. Now it's time to decorate. I've gone ahead and stamped and colored up the little penguin and attached him to some grass. And I've stamped up and colored some bubbles too. I've placed some small glue dots on the back of the bubbles along with some clouds. I want the bubbles to look like they're floating, so I've cut some small strips of acetate. Now I'll attach the acetate to the bubbles. See how cute? They look like they're floating. I'll do the same with the rest of the bubbles. Thank you. 
I've stamped the sentiment, don't forget to play, in turquoise on this white banner. And I'm going to attach it with some foam tape. Now the penguin. I think he'll look good right here. Now for the bubbles. I'll use some glue dots and attach them to the other end of the acetate strip and then attach them to one of the center supports. Oh boy, I just love the way this looks. This box is definitely going to need more bubbles. One over here attached to the back support. Now for some clouds. I'll put some more bubbles on the very front panel by the sentiment just to carry on the theme. You'll notice the penguins and the bubbles are all nicely cut. We have a free cutting file available for the stamp set. So if you don't like fussy cutting, it makes it so much more fun just to stamp and color. I think this card in a box is almost done, but I think it needs one more bubble right there in front. One of the cool things about this card in a box is that it folds flat so that fits into an envelope. Oops, looks like I'm going to have to make a cloud adjustment. Much better. Any other adjustments? Okay, maybe just this bubble. There we go. Perfect. Now when I slip this card in a box in the envelope, I'm going to pull the flaps down so that looks more festive. And I can actually mail this. And it was super easy to make using our card in a box cuttable. I hope you give it a try. Thanks for stopping by. Have a great day.